worked uh, Gene here earlier on Oscar Radio for Uniform, and he, he said the ladies might like uh, my voice, and then uh, then you and he should have heard me yesterday morning. I could compare with uh, or could beat with uh, with Lee Hazelwood. It was a very very dark voice. My wife just laughed at me, so I don't know if she find it sexy or not. Now I have another girl screaming at me here, and. It's, it's a small cat. She jumped up in my knee now, and the problem is she likes to chew on the microphone. So if you hear some scratching noises, Mark, it's, it's the cat eating on the microphone on the headset. Uh, and she's she's a bit mad at me because I won't let her go out. It's it's a bit cold here, and she used to go out in the morning, so now she's really not happy, but very very cuddly instead. Running ICOM 7610 here and 800 watts into a 9 element 5 band OptiBeam, two active elements on 10 meters. And a wonderful morning, some mist and uh, some very high scattered clouds, minus 2 degrees Celsius. So we had a beautiful sunset here a bit earlier on. Two Mike Zero X ray Zulu Alpha, Sugar Bravo 7 Sugar Over. Yeah, thank you very much, Mark. Yeah, I forgot to comment about VK before. Yeah, I got a call from, from Rod VK7 Radio Golf here a bit earlier on. And I worked uh, that uh, that expedition to Rarotonga. Uh, Sugar 5-1, I can't... Uh, Echo 5-1, sorry. I can't remember the call of, uh, of the, the, the expedition down on CW on 20. So I worked them a bit earlier on as well this morning. But uh, the VKs are not as strong as, as normal. Rod was about 5 and 7, 5 and 8. And normally I get uh, a couple of the VK guys at 5, 9 plus 10 in the mornings here. So not, not the best of propagation. I was up on 10 meter and the band was full of Russians. And I could hear one a week uh, Japanese stations, but uh, no VKs. So we'll see how, how the bands uh, progress uh, today. It has been uh, not too good the last couple of days. I worked some DXs, but uh, not, uh, not, not too much. Thanks for the call, Mark. Have a wonderful morning. Enjoy your coffee. I think I will grab another one. Two Mike Zero X-Ray Zulu Alpha. Sugar Bravo 7 Sugar and Oh, yes, I know who Barry White is. We, we, we can't compare. Bye-bye.
Yeah, seven free smart. Thank you very much. And yeah, I have I have the things I want now. I only want a bigger amplifier. Uh, I could use a bigger amplifier. Uh, when I have the Hermes light and only get two and a half, uh, sorry, five watts output. Uh, the amplifier works, of course, but I get a bit of low power. I get about 200 watts on, on 20 meters, uh, 600 watts on 40, and uh, 250, 300 watts on the higher bands. And I could use uh, I could use a bigger amplifier so I could get about a kilowatt out of the, the five watt uh, Hermes light radio. If that was the case, then I might uh, then I might have sold my my 7610 because the Hermes light is an absolutely fantastic piece of equipment. So free smart. See you later. Two mic zero X ray pseudo alpha sugar Bravo seven sugar. Bye bye. O N H E I over. Yeah, the Oscar November eight. Yeah, good morning to you, uh, George, and uh, nice to hear you. Sugar Bravo seven sugar. O N A T I. We've spoken before. The name is John. Over. Yeah, hi John. Good morning. Oscar November eight. Echo India. Five and nine plus. Beautiful signal and uh, good to work you again. Uh, let's see now. Yeah, it was on twenty meter here in in July this year and on forty meter last year. And it could have been some more QSOs. I don't have this logbook completely synchronized. But good to work you. Five and nine plus signal. Beautiful. Oh, and eight Oscar, sorry, Oscar November 8, Echo India, Sugar Bravo 7, Sugar over. Yeah, Roger, and uh, sounding very good with your uh, deep, uh, bassy uh, voice today. So hopefully you'll get over your cold. Yeah, you're, you're 10 over 9, and uh, today I'm on the Anan 7000, and I was listening to your uh, comments about the Hermes Light. A beautiful radio, I have that one as well. And with the Hermes Light, I use an Acom 1200S with um, uh, five watts in, and it gives me a kilowatt, over. Yeah, but I might have to replace my SP amplifier. I have an SP 1KFA, and it gets a bit uh, bit too little output. It's perfect with uh, with 20 watts in, but uh, with five watts, uh, the gain is just too small. It's fine on, on 40 and 80, but uh, it's a bit too low on, on the higher band. So I think that's the only, the only thing now to do is to replace that uh, that uh, SP amplifier, but I really like it. I do a lot of remote operation, John, and it's perfect with uh, four antenna ports and two radio inputs and automatic switching between uh, between the antenna ports due to which band I use, and also with the built-in tuner. Uh, I have a local friend of mine here who has a, a 1200S, but I'm I'm quite fond of the the SPs. They are easy to remote control. And I would say I do maybe maybe fifty percent of my operation remote, either from from the TV couch or or from the summer house, John. Today I'm on the seventy six ten, so about eight hundred watts here on on twenty at the moment, and uh, the nine element five band opti beam. But uh, I've had the Hermes light for for about three weeks. I'm still learning, still learning CT software, and uh, I'm uh, I'm. Uh, I'm absolutely uh, floored every time I sit by the radio and I compare it to the 7610 because it's uh, it's really amazing for that price, over. Oh yeah, it's a terrific uh, radio, and of course the Anand, the the one that I'm using at the moment, is the uh, is the same uh, software, and they they are beautiful. The the screen is beautiful. I I don't know what size screen you have. I've got something like a 32 inch screen, nice and wide, and. Uh, you can add whatever skin you like, and uh, my son. Uh, I used to. Ha- my son is the the brains behind the operation, and uh, I I I you know I'd see a nice photo and I'd want it as a skin, but it was difficult to uh, to put it up for me. But he could put it up in about uh, two minutes. So he created a program where you just uh, you add the skin and you press uh, this button and that button, and there you have you have the skin up on the uh, on the on the screen. And my favorite uh, thing about these radios is the uh, the noise reduction too. Over. Yeah, I agree. Uh, that the noise reduction too is absolutely fabulous. It's absolutely fabulous, especially when uh, when the neighbors here uh, when they are charging their illegal Chinese uh, electrical bike. I have a five nine plus noise over the entire HF band, but with the NR2 I can still listen to to the station I'm working, and I have I have screen uh, I have screen area enough for. 
for a lot of windows, John. If you look at my QRZ.com page, you will see you will see a 49-inch uh, curved uh, Dell monitor. So I have the screen is data. Or. Yeah, and I'm looking at it now. There, yeah, that's terrific. Well, that's perfect for the uh, for the Thetas uh, software. Now, what about if you, um, yeah, you really need a a standalone amp? And I know that uh, you know a hundred or two hundred is not enough. You need to, you need at least four or five hundred. On this radio, I'm using uh, uh, an Australian amp, the VK amp. Over. Yeah, but I read <laughs> I read about them, and I also think uh, the Mercury Free has quite a low input. So we'll see. I'm not allowed to buy any radio stuff at the moment uh, for my wife. I have I've spent quite a lot of money the last two or three years on on my radio stuff. My dad passed away, and it, it wasn't much money he left. But my wife told me to to go ahead and and uh, do something that I wanted and that I could cherish my dad with. So she said, "Go and go ahead and buy some new radio stuff." So I bought. Uh, I bought uh, the one KFA amplifier. I bought uh, the 7610, and I bought uh, the uh, the OptiBeam, the Nine Element Five Bander. So, and before that, I have bought uh, the tower and things. So, I have uh, the last three years, I have spent uh, way too much money on the radio, John Over. Yeah, but uh, you know who wants to be the uh, the richest man in the graveyard? Over. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, I sold uh, I sold the 7,400 a couple of weeks ago, and uh, the same night I sold the 7,400, I ordered the Cetis. Uh, sorry, the, the, the Hermes Light. And uh, I had thought about for, for a long time to sell the 7,400 because it was just collecting dust. I was never using it. And then uh, a local ham friend here, uh, just uh, 40 kilometers away from me, placed an ad uh, on uh, one of the Swedish ham radio sites that he wanted to buy a 7,400. And I know this guy since 1985, and he knows me. So uh, I emailed him and said, well, you, you can buy my 7,400. I don't use it. So he was collecting it the same night. And uh, I ordered the, the, the Hermes light. And uh, eight days later, I had uh, I had the Hermes light from China and, and put it uh, put it together and then started to use it and absolutely fantastic. The Fetis has some learning curve. Uh, it's most of all to get the audio correct, but now I have a, I have a headset and I have managed to, to tweak the audio so I get good uh, unsolicited comments about it. So uh, now I need to find a, an even better headset. It's not perfect, but uh, it's good. I have a nice headset in the summer house used for remote operation, so I think I would try to buy, uh, to find uh, the same headset which I have in, in the summer house. Now I'm using an, uh, here, uh, I'm using a old Sennheiser video conferencing headset. It's a mono aural headset, so I only have it on one ear and a noise cancelling microphone to, uh, to run the 7610 uh, remotely here. In the summer house, I have a Sennheiser gaming headset, which, which works okay. Oh, and eight Bravo, uh, sorry, post oh, November 8, Echo India, Sugar Bravo 7, Sugar Over. Yeah, Roger, on that, uh, George. By the way, George, if you want to um, to use a um, a boom mic, the one I suggest is the uh, the Fiduce, and uh, it certainly won't uh, break the bank, and they are a terrific mic, over. Yeah, we'll look at that. On the 7610 and my 7300, I have used, uh, I have used a BM800. But uh, I also have a, a, a Rode NT USB Mini um, boom mic. Oh, it's it's a bass microphone, but I put it on a boom. But it's a bit too bassy. I have tried to adjust the audio with with the features, and I got it a lot better. But it still doesn't compare to my gaming headsets. Over. Yeah. Okay. Well, have a look at uh, at uh, my uh, QRZ page, and uh, you'll see that uh, particular mic. It's kind of a uh, an SM7B uh, knockoff. And um, if you scroll down, there's a clip of a guy in the States with his Fidus and his Hermes light. And uh, he sounds like a, uh, a broadcast station. OK, George, I'll leave you work a few more. Uh, get uh, get well soon. Uh, it's wet and it's windy and it's cold in Belgium. But uh, a good time to be in the shack. Over. Yeah, um, here it's a nice cold morning. I can see the sun starting to shine through the trees. 
and we had uh, minus two degrees a bit earlier on here, so everything is uh, is covered uh, covered with frost. Is it uh, which uh, which uh, views is it you have? Is it the SL40 or 40 plus or uh, not the XLR? I guess. So which uh, which uh, FDUCE microphone are you using, Oliver? Yeah, it's the one with the USB-C and the XLR, and even with the uh, the headphones on it, over. Yeah, Roger. Yeah, I will check it. Thank you very much for the advice. I already have the boom and everything, so I just need to buy buy the microphone. So uh, I will I will look at that. It might be some. Uh, uh, Amazon might bring some bring some more packages to the to the doorstep over. Yeah, or even even AliExpress. But what I'll do, I'll send you an email uh, with the link to it, and uh, also um, I'm uh, I'm recording this on uh, on OBS, so I'll send you a recording over. Yeah, please do. Very much appreciated, uh, John. Very much appreciated. Please send me that, and uh, I will look at that microphone. Very interesting. I have way too many headsets and way too many microphones, but I'm uh, I'm a sucker for trying to get uh, the best audio out of the equipment without using uh, expensive audio gear. Over. Yeah, Roger, Roger, and um, with you know with the Theta software, uh, you you do not need the rack system. Over. Yeah, yeah, I have uh, I have played around with all the equalizers and uh, all the settings, and uh, I agree with that. And wonderful. Wonderful pictures on your home page. I'm looking at it, and uh, you have uh, you have much more m- much more pictures of your stuff than I have. I have pictures of the of the antennas and the summer house and the view over the lake. Over. Yeah, well, you know, some people they like looking at uh, lakes and and mountains, but uh, no, no, you're uh, you're very lucky to have that uh, uh, remote uh, location. By the way, um, that remote location is there houses beside you? Over. <laughs> There were houses to one side. Uh, to to the, if you look at the picture from from the lake side, there are houses to the right side of us. There are five houses down by the lake, and then uh, there are no houses all around the lake. Uh, in another small bay, about two kilometers from us, uh, there is three houses, but uh, we don't see them. And uh, all around the lake, there are no other houses except for the very far end, but uh, we cannot see them. They are behind. Uh, behind uh, a small uh, edge going out. So only five houses, uh, one couple have moved there permanently. They are on the, the farthest end from me. And otherwise we have about three kilometers, four kilometers to the closest resident and the closest street light. So it's it's very secluded, John, and the lake is about one uh, one kilometer across and five kilometers long. So it's just uh, just the perfect size over. Yeah, and what what about in the summer? How's the uh, what's the mosquito situation? Well, it's uh, it's not fun. It's not fun. You have to you have to prepare with uh, with silicone uh, paste so you can put it on on the bites. But uh, it could be worse. It's uh, the problem is the small the small things. It's not even mosquitoes. They are much much smaller, but they are gone. Uh, after midsummer, and so beginning of July, they are gone. But uh, if it's a calm night, then it's uh, then it's difficult to be outside. Then you prefer to be on the lake or on uh, on uh, on the terrace with uh, with the glass around it, John, because uh, it could be quite uh, challenging fighting off the mosquitoes. Over. Yeah, yeah, it sounds a little bit like uh, Scotland. Now, here's another thing before. Uh uh, I go. Um, uh, are you going to uh, also set up a pure signal over? Yep, yeah, I'm uh, try to set up pure signal without using a sampler. Uh, just uh, just trying it out, and uh, it didn't work out too well. So I will build. Uh, that will be a winter project to build uh, a sampler, or actually have to build two because I need one on the lower bands where I have one antenna, and one on the higher bands where I have a different antenna. For the two outputs on the, on the amplifier, so I will build uh, two samplers and uh, set up your signal over. Yeah, because um, I'm I'm looking at you now, and you'll see it when you get the um, uh, the video. There's lots of uh, uh, stuff going on left and right over. Yeah, okay, but that's I'm using the seventy six ten now. I'm not on the Hermes light, 
so that's the 76 ton causing that problem so then it's uh, something i need to sort out over yeah roger roger yeah very good okay george great to uh great to hear you and uh stand by for my email i'll uh I'll, I'll do that uh, right now and you can have uh, a look at uh, what you sound like and what you look like. So great um, great uh, to make a, another contact with you and keep me posted on uh, on what you're getting up to. Uh, Sugar Bravo 7, Sugar ON 80i. Bye-bye from Belgium, George. And at one stage you, were, you came up to 30, 30 over 9. Over. Yeah, thanks a lot, John. Thanks a lot and thanks for the help. And I will look into that. Uh, I think it's uh, it's the amplifier that is not perfectly clean. So uh, it, it's 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 strange because some people tell me that the band scope is razor sharp, and uh, from you and uh, one or two other stations, I have heard that uh, there is something going on on the side, and I can't really figure it out if it's band dependent or if it's uh, something else going on. So I need to I need to sort it out that uh, look into that. But thank you very much. And I will do some some reading as about the microphones. That was a new brand that I actually haven't heard of, so very, very interesting. Thanks for all the help, John, and thanks for the wonderful QSO. And you're also very strong here, 5, 9, plus 10 to 15 dB. Oscar, November 8, Echo India, Sugar, Bravo, 7, Sugar. Thank you so much for the call, John. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, George, and thank you very much. Bye-bye. 73, bye-bye. Sugar, Bravo, Seven Sugar, Cures at 20. Uh, Fox Trot 1, Charlie, Bravo, Echo. Fox 1, Charlie, Bravo, Echo. Good morning. Thank you very much for the call. And uh, good to work you again. We have had a bunch of QSOs before. Nice to see you, Patrick. 5 and 9, 5 and 8, 5 and 9. Great signal to Sweden. Fox 1, Charlie Bravo Echo. Sugar Bravo 7, Sugar over. Okay, Roger, Roger, George. Thank you very much. Uh, you are very strong also, 5-9. The QT is the same, the town of Brest in uh, west of France. Okay, uh, thank you very much. Um, uh, George, have a good day, good traffic, and uh, all my best, 73. Bye-bye, George. Yes, sir, please. Uh, thank you very much, Patrick. Have a good day. Fox 1, Charlie Bravo, Echo, Sugar, Bravo, 7, Sugar. Bye-bye. Patrick, reste 5 kilos plus bas, okay? Oui, 10 kilos plus bas. Hotel Bravo 9, uh, hang on. Hotel Bravo 9, uh, Lima, was it Lima, Delta Lima? Uh, 